Alright guys, welcome back. We're here in Samogu. Brad and I just landed for his first time here. And um, we just jumped out, talked to these guys, let them know what we're doing. And apparently they have three sick people. So, um, and Narambi, where we were going to pick up another sick lady. And it looks like it's too cloudy to land. We're going to pick up coffee. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one more landing here. Then jump over to Gama, which is four miles that way. Do a couple landings, then come back here and probably pick up the sick people here. Three of them plus two watch people to go with them. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and take off now. We've got a little bit of a side slope here, not much, but it's very like side to side undulations. So just hold your pitch as well as you can. And um, I don't even think you really need to do that okay. really because it's not enough. But just know that we're just going to sit here. We're going to almost like just be bouncing back left to right. And it right. is really rough on takeoff. So we'll do one more circuit here. If you feel comfortable enough to do a 270, we can do that. Out, join base, come right back in. So only go to 20, 20 degrees. But if you'd like to do a full circuit, that's fine as well. I was, as you were out there, I was considering doing a teardrop and then doing a full circuit. If you're suggesting doing a teardrop, we would climb up, just leave it, prop forward, flaps 20, and then climb up to like two. Is that what we would do? Yeah, so I'd climb up to what I'd be entering my base at. Right. Um, but if you feel like that's too much rush, then, then do a full circuit. Okay. Let me do a full circuit. All right, so why don't you just do a teardrop into a circuit. Yep, that's All right. what I'm thinking. All right. All stations, Sumogu 120.7, Kodiak, November Tango Echo. Departing runway 34, remaining in the circuit. All stations, Sumogu. Engine instruments are in the green, brake release, maintaining center line, fishing for best pitch, airspeed's alive, continuing at 53. Whoa, I drifted right whenever I looked down. Just gonna mute myself so I'm not a distraction to Brad. We're gonna go ahead and do a full circuit just because this is just a second time here. Just give him a little more time and space to be thinking about what he needs to do. As we fly over, let's take a look at those cones again and verify which one we're actually gonna be pointing to this time. Uh, I think I missed the first set. So the first set is at the threshold, basically. So you've got that brown dirt right there. That is the first cone, okay. so then go in one cone from there. Okay. And that's where I'd like to be shooting the uh, touchdown. I was aiming for the third. Okay, yep. Okay, board is going to be the same as short final, increase power, pitch, flaps 20, setting max temp for the go around. Go to 86, descending down to 5200. There's 5200, just a touch slow. So I'm going to set six on base. Into 4,900 over this hill. Just beyond the hill. 1,000 at the hill. But on 5,000. Close just complete. And slowing to 66. Overshot just a little bit. And back around. All right, 4,900, numbers are right. 600 feet per minute descent. Three knot on the head. Four left crosswind. Plus four airspeed, minus 550 descent. Plus two airspeed. Okay, I'm seeing that at more point now. Doing that. But not slow, nose it down. Not a wind, minus 500 on descent. It's really good, but let's go around. Going around to increase 500. power, pitch, ups. Picking up the ITT, highway straight ahead, left hand turn. Closing it down. I enter back in the pattern here. All right. Jump. All right, guys, I just made him just go around just for his own practice. Um, it's, it's one thing if you can land at these places, but if you can't go around safely, then that's just as dangerous. So we practice our go-arounds. We have to do go-arounds every single month 
just so that we're fresh on them, so that we actually do, you know, we rotely say what we're going to do every time, but unless you actually do it and play it out and get in the habit of actually thinking about what you're going to do, then it can be pretty dangerous. So anyway, he did fine there. The final checklist is complete. But the 66. 4900, looking good. Five knots on the nose. Waiting for that second cone. Coming up on committed. 500. Plus four. 550 descent. One on the nose. Right now we're committed. We're plus two. 450 descent. All right, so let's head over to Gama, and then we'll come back over here, right. and um, then we'll shut down over here and see if we can get these guys. But before, we'll go to Gama, and then we'll come back, and we'll just quickly look to see if we can head over to Narambi. Uh But I don't think we'll be able to, so. Great, I want to go ahead and brief Gama now, so it's fresh in my mind. Okay. 64 is going to be traffic pattern. Uh, look again, let's see what touchdown is. Okay, so 63. Yeah, perfect. OBS, runway 20. We'll just leave it clicked once so we see both sides of the runway. It's right over on the other edge of, on the other side. This there's like right a hill here. here, and then there's a valley, and then there's a smaller hill, so it's like right. two hills over. Okay. 170 meters long, 11.8% slope. So at the higher slope, we need to... The touchdown, though, look at the touchdown. Okay. It's only 7%. Okay. So um, we're just going to add a knot to our VRF. Rough runway like this one, but it's more like up and down instead of side to side like this one is. So we're looking to land at the first cone in. Okay. As the threshold is where we'd like to touch down at. And then um, heavy braking and go in reverse just to get to like a manageable speed, but then immediately come back into your power. We do not want to stop on the hill or we're screwed because <laughs> it's so steep. And then in your in your climb up there, I usually go low idle as I'm climbing in case it's muddy at the top of the parking bay because it's really small and it can get really slippery up there. Okay. So slow down to manageable speed, but then immediately get your power back in and add power to get up the hill because it's uh, the max slope is 17%. It doesn't say that, but that's what an old chart used to say. Okay. All right, let's do it. Engine instruments are set. Third, the green. Brake release. All right, airspeed's alive. Continuing. All right, we're gonna go flaps ten and then maintain one ten ten. Been over into Gamma. As you guys can see, it's only four miles over there, just a two-minute flight, so really quick. It's probably like a, I don't know, probably a four or five, eh, probably five-hour hike to get over there in a two-minute flight. What? I mean, 60-something over there. All right, see the little house on top of the hill over there yeah, with I the do. tin roof? Just kind of aim for that. Okay. It's on the other side of that hill. Like I said, we're not going to see it until it's like a half a mile okay. uh, from the runway. I think that's the hill that we're looking for. I think that's the school. 200 feet to climb. And all stations, Gamma, 120.7 November Tango Echo is entering the circuit and will stay in the circuit. All stations. All right, so I'm usually heading for over top of that ridge right here, the one that's coming down underneath those clouds. Yeah. And there's a little tiny hut up there. I just kind of go out to that area and then that's where I know I give myself as much time and space as I can on the, the whole circuit. Oh, it's just on the other side of those little houses. We're all the way to the ridge. Oh, oh short, don't ridge. shortchange yourself on 500. 
There you go, that's a lot better. Now you see this ridge line coming down? That's the ridge line that we want to be coming back to at 5700. Okay. So at this point we're just dropping down to our 6000 on this heading right here. Okay. That ridge right there with those little trees sticking up a little bit higher, uh -huh. that's where we want 5700. Okay. Yep, this is a really small base. It's a very small base. 500. Fast. Slow down. Maintaining uh, 1,000, that's up, 2.4 right here, 0, order miles. Base line to 76. D700, what's on that ridge? See the runway now? Yep. Going to 67, 66. Hill. 500. Increase power, pitch, flaps, left hand, turn the climb out. A plus three on the your speed, 700 feet per minute descent, three knots on the nose. Plus three airspeed. Minus 550 descent. Come out of the middle. Plus three airspeed. At this ridge right here. Five hundred. I would call committed. Looking good. Right. Committed. Being right before that second cone. Split fast. All right, now come out and then just let it coast and then add a little bit of power. And then I always push over on the yoke going up the hill. Okay. Add power. Add more power. I'm just gonna go a little idle before we climb in here. Okay. Have you been here before? I don't think so. Okay, so I have flight controls just for a second, just so control. I can show you how I enter into this up here. And you can see that, let me just, there's a hill right here off to the left, yep. like right there. So you have to pull oh, when you're, see. see it drops down? Uh -huh. When you're loading coffee, you have to be able to pull far enough up, you can get the tail stand in, otherwise you can't get the tail stand in. Okay. So then, I'm just gonna go ahead and line up right now. Are you gonna jump out? Uh, no. Come on, nose wheel, just line up, there we go. All right. I have controls? You have flight controls? Do it. You know, I mean, we were empty today. Imagine being full up here. Like, you're going to be adding a ton of power to get up the hill. Yeah. But push forward. You don't want to get stopped in the runway. Um, I, there was another Kodiak that did that with another mission that, and they ended up stopping on the runway. I think he got stuck, or I don't know exactly what it was, or didn't have enough power. Anyways, he ended up stopping and tipping back oh, and no. onto his tail. And then they had to, like, kind of push it all the way back down. It was a huge pain. So. Just notice how steep it is and um, yeah, make note of that. Your pitch is gonna look a different on this one because it's so steep. Okay. So you're only gonna go to here, but your naturally inclination, it doesn't quite look right. You're gonna wanna pull it further up back. Okay. We don't do that because like I said earlier, I got airborne a little bit sooner than I wanted to because I've done that. Huh. So you're just gonna hold it. And then once it gets airborne, you're just gonna let it fly down the hill. Okay. until you get your speed up to like 70 and then start pitching up to get out. Okay. Don't just immediately start with this like, I'm going down, like, yeah, you are losing, but you're still climbing in the sense of you're climbing away from the ground. Just because I don't think we've taken off on one this steep yet with you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. And if I kind of push on the yoke, it's don't fight it, just like, that's just me going, that's enough. Okay. All right, we're ready. All right. 1330 for 1380, rotating 56, ignition, inlet lines, prop. And then also, because we're kind of just a little bit already past our braking point, add the power very smoothly, coming okay. into power, don't just boom, because it'll just break your brakes loose and then you're, then you're committed. 
All stations, Gamma, Kodiak, Nova Tango, Echo is on the roll, runway 02, all stations, Gamma. Power set, engine instruments are in the green. Runway is clear, brake release. Okay, here's Pete's live. There's 53. That being light is nice sometimes. Yeah, right? That was very good. Alright, abort is going to be the short final right above that hill. Increase power pitch, flaps, left hand turn to the climb out. Setting max torque, or sorry, max temper, temp, the climb out. There's my 6,000. Go fast. 500. All right, left hand turn down to 5,700. Go to 76. 500. Okay, I'm facing to get low, increasing power. That's 20. Checklist is complete. Put to 66. Pulled out a little soon. Steer the nose, plus one airspeed. 650 descent. Aim for the second cone. Coming up on committal. Alpha November Romeo, one five miles. Uh, Committed, sorry. Southeast of Goroka, passing one three thousand on climb. It's two. Catching the slope. Bring power back. All right, that was very good. You touched down right where you're looking to touch down. What's that on the ground down there? Looks like a kid or something. Are they birds? What is that? I have no idea. It's definitely something on the runway. Yeah. Is it moving or not? It looked like it was. Looks like it's moving around. We didn't hit anything that I know of. I don't of. think so. Why don't you go feather real quick? I'm going to go ask them to see if they can go scared off or something. The kids! Alright, well, I basically said, hey, if I see kids on the runway like that again that are hiding down there and waiting for us to take off over top of them. I'm going to close you guys for a year. I said, it's not their problem, it's your problem. <laughs> like, you guys have coffee you want to send out and things like that, but that's a massive safety issue and uh, that's why you guys built the fence, is to keep the kids out. I've got kids myself. I don't always make the wisest decisions. <laughs> so I was like, you guys better cross those kids well. You guys all know who it is, so it needs to be dealt with, or you guys you guys are going to be the ones that are going to be suffering here, so, all right. Oh, you ready? Let's head over to Narambi, see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll just poke our nose over. If it's not looking good, then we'll just land at Samogu and pick up those sick people. Hey, engine instruments are in the green. We've got power set, brake release. Speed's alive. G6. All right, nice pitch control on that one. That was really good. All right, so we don't have lots of mucking around fuel, so let's just turn right now because we've only got 100 pounds to basically go there, land, go to Samogu, land, and then leave. So, right that way is where we're going. And it looks like it's got more clouds there than it did 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I wasn't ready to head that direction just yet. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a lot more clouds than it just, even the last circuit we did, it has less. So that low spot over there, yeah. that is the Narambi Gap. The Narambi Gap. Looks like we could probably get through. Yeah, we can definitely get through, but I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of clouds low in the valley. All stations, Gamma 1207, November Tango Echo, departed Gamma for Narambi 7000. For you viewers, just to let you know, this is kind of like a big horseshoe kind of bowl area that extends out to the Gulf area. All this green area out here, and it basically just packs in, and once it gets up to here, like it is packed in all the way down to the ground for sometimes days. So we're just gonna go to Samogu, pick up those other sick people that we started with and um, go from there. Morsby 6622, November Tango Echo. November Tango Echo, go ahead. November Tango Echo, un unable to land Narambi due weather. Now in the circuit, Samogu. Report again after landing, Samogu. Number Tango Echo. All stations, Samogu, 1207, November Tango Echo is in the circuit, Samogu. Time for the second cone in. 1286. Five hundred. Very nice. I think that was probably your most, uh, I think, stable approach all the way in for any of these today. Okay. All right, guys, well, we're going to jump out and see if these sick people um, have been readied and able to go back up to Garok with us. It's unfortunate we're not able to get the person in Narambi, but I think we have a flight out there next week as well. So, yeah, we will see. So, thanks, guys, for joining Brad and I on one of his training flights, just kind of jumping around. I love doing these flights because I love coming in and out of these places as much as we can. So thanks guys and see you guys next time. Stay tuned, we'll throw some drone footage up that I have from previous times I've been out here and uh, getting these guys loaded up. Mars B6622, November Tango Echo, on the ground, Samogu, cancel SAR. November Tango Echo, Samogu SAR, what is terminated? Thank you, November Tango Echo.